स्टूडेंट्स ए एस के की बात चल रही है हम लोगों ने एम्पलीट्यूड शिफ्ट किंग को देखा था कि हाउ डज इट हैपन एंड वट आर द डिफरेंट बैंडविथ इम्प्लीकेशन द कैरियर फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड द एक्चुअल रिलेशनशिप ऑफ द बैंडविथ विद द सिग्नल रेट दैट इज इन्वॉल्व विद ए एस के स्टूडेंट्स अब देखेंगे कि हाउ कैन वी इम्प्लीमेंट बाइनरी ए एस के इन द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ बाइनरी ए एस के विल सी हाउ इन एसेंस द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन हैपन्स इन द केस ऑफ बाइनरी ए एस के um the actual implementation is is really complex but we'll just give you a, a slight background um on a high level to for you to understand how the binary sk works so in in this case the digital data that we are using it is presented as a unipolar nrz signal remember from our discussion of the line coding scheme the unipolar nrz has got a high level of 1 so the high voltage level in this case is going to be 1 and a low voltage level of 0 so this is our digital data um presented as unipolar nrz and this is what we need to send from point a to point b students so in this particular case what we do is we have got an oscillator the frequency is the carrier frequency fc we take our unipolar nrz signal and we multiply that with the um oscillator um produce the oscillating signal which is produced at a frequency of fc students as you can see wherever we had a one the carrier signal that's produced by the oscillator the in the moderator signal wherever we have a one the amplitude of the carrier signal is maintained ab students um ask karte hue wherever we have a zero which is this case the amplitude of the carrier signal is made zero or is reduced to zero voltage um as compared to the amplitude in the carrier signal so uh, in essence what we are doing is in the case of one we are maintaining or holding amplitude of the carrier and in the case of a zero we have a zero amplitude students uh, once again this carrier signal that you are looking at it serves as the base of the information that we are going to be carrying so if this is this carrier signal that's produced by the oscillator this is serving as the base of the unipolar nrz digital signal that we have out here and the result is a modulated signal that is what's going to be sent from the sender to the receiver so students uh, we'll do an example in this case we have an available bandwidth of 100 kilohertz and it spans from um 200 to 300 kilohertz students we need to find the carrier frequency and we need to find n which is the bit rate if the data is modulated using ask with d is equal to 1 and we are using um one signal element per data element so our r is equal to 1 as well students the middle of the frequency is 250 kilohertz so our carrier frequency is going to be 250 kilohertz now we have the formula of the bandwidth for ask which is 1 plus d into the signal rate bandwidth is proportional to the signal rate students inserting the value of d we come out with 1 plus 1 into s so your bandwidth is equal to 2s let's insert the value of the signal rate which is n over r students bandwidth is equal to 2n and the reason for that is because our r is equal to 1 and this comes out to be from this discussion our n is equal to be bandwidth divided by 2 which is equal to 100 kilohertz divided by 2 and so our data rate is equal to 50 kilobits per second 